everyone on the screencast is going to talk about setting up equivalent ratios to get a proportion. If I start with a ratio of 3 eighths, if I want to get an equivalent ratio to 3 eighths, it's sort of like finding an equivalent fraction. I can multiply both the top part of my ratio and the bottom part of my ratio by the same number and I will get an equivalent ratio. These two equivalent ratios will give me a proportion. I could have chose any number other than three as long as I kept it the same for the top and the bottom. To check whether or not my ratios are equivalent, I can do eight multiplied by nine and I can do three multiplied by 24. So eight multiplied by nine is 72. Three multiplied by 24 is also 72. I have an equivalent proportion. Another way to get an equivalent uh, proportion is I can take 15 to 35, the ratio. So I'm going to get an equivalent ratio by dividing by the same number. So if I divide 15 by 5, I get 3. If I divide 35 by 5, I get 7. So I'm finding an equivalent ratio, kind of like how I'll reduce a fraction. And 3 to 7 is an equivalent ratio of 15 to 35. 15 over 35 is in proportion to 3 sevenths. This chart down here is what you might see in the back of a lemonade mixture. I want to keep everything tasting the same. So if I have 16 cups, a ratio of 16 to 32, so 16 cups of water, 32 scoops of mix, I want to maybe make some larger lemonade mixtures, some small lemonade mixtures, but I've always wanted to taste the same. I have to keep all of these ratios equivalent. So an equivalent ratio of 16 to 32, you know, maybe I'll double them. So maybe I'll make it 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64. So I went larger by multiplying each by 2. And if I reduce 16 over 32, I would get one half. If I reduce 32 over 64, I'd also get one half. So another equivalent ratio is one to two. One cup of water to two scoops of mix. Two to four would be equivalent. I can take half of 16 divided by two. That's eight. Half of 32, I get 16. All of these ratios all can go to simplest form of one half, so they are all equivalent ratios.